Hey guys, it's Nancy. Uh, I just got back from seeing the A Nightmare on Elm Street remake, and I wanted to give my two cents worth. So let me start from the beginning of the night. So I walked in with good old Freddy right here, and uh, got my ticket. And I walked in and I waited around for a while. My one friend and I were talking to another friend of ours. And then we walked into, we were going into the theater. And the guy, I give the ticket to, he goes, oh, someone's excited. And I said, well, yeah, I've been waiting for this for a year and a half. And he goes, oh, wow, I can't wait to see it. So we walked into the theater. And I realized that it had already started. And I thought to myself, well, I wanted the later movie. And I forgot that there was one that just started. So I told my friend I was going to go see if I could exchange the tickets. So I walked out to the guy at the booth and I said, can I, can I exchange a ticket? And he said, this is what you have to do. And I said, okay. And I, then I, I stepped away and he goes, you have to get the right time. And I go, yeah. And I looked back at him and I said, are you in a Nightmare on Elm Street fan? And he goes, well, yes, I am. And I go, oh. So we talked about it for a while, about how excited I am to see it. And then I was, I was walking back into the theater to tell my friend, the manager and one of his guards was standing right there and he goes, hey, that's a cool doll. Hey, look, that's cool. So when you pull the string, does it talk? And so I demonstrated it and Freddie goes, hi, I'm Freddie. And they laughed and they thought it was really cool. And I got my friend and we went outside into the lobby and there was a bench by the Nightmare on Elm Street poster. So I sat there by Freddie and I waited and I went and got a drink and the guy there goes oh man you're ready for the occasion and I said absolutely I've been waiting for a year and a half and he goes wow I can't wait to see it either and then he told me to have uh, a fun time watching the movie and I said well I hope so so then I went back to go by the poster and a lady and her boyfriend were walking by and the lady looks at me and she goes hi Nancy how are you and I was like hi and then I waited a little bit more and then I had my friend take a picture of me with the nightmare poster but unfortunately my camera ran out of battery so I didn't get one but there were two guys that were waiting there like watching me and they were like oh, oh look at her oh look at her and I thought it was really cool and then so they as soon as I was done taking the picture so to speak they said, oh, is that, is that the original doll? And I, I said, oh, yeah, this is Robert. This is Robert. This is Freddy. And he goes, yeah, this guy has a doll over here. And I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, well, that's really cool. So then we decided to go into the theater and saw the movie. Yeah. Um, I'll get to that after I finish. So I walked out of the movie and I was saying different comments and such and then the lady who had told me earlier hello Nancy how are you she was walking out and she said bye Nancy and she like stopped for a while and like gave me a direct look and I it was really cool <laughs> and then back to the movie I don't know if it's because I'm closed minded because I'm so in love with the original series but I thought the movie was okay I didn't really like it too much. I thought that um, it didn't have a whole lot of plot. It was badly, kind of badly written. And the actors were just kind of crappy. And then I also thought that I didn't really like Rooney Mara as Nancy. I know it was different, but Nancy just seemed to cry and whine a lot to me and she wasn't as strong as I'd wanted her to be which was unfortunate but there's nothing I can do about that Jackie I thought he was pretty darn good now the makeup it looked really fake and a lot of things looked really really fake but I guess that's what you get with CGI and new technology and I also um, I thought he did a great a pretty good voice. Very similar to Rorschach, but there's only so many voices you can do, I guess. And his Freddy laugh. Loved his Freddy laugh. 
the uh, music and the sounds were really, really neat. I thought that went along with it. And, I mean, it was, it was okay. It had, I don't know if it had too much of a story. Maybe that's because I was still in Nightmare La La Land of the original. And they did throw in a couple of Freddy quotes, like, How's this for a wet dream? And uh, I think he said, your mouth says no, no, but your body says yes, or just along the lines of the Freddy vs. Jason quote. And that was pretty much it. It was, it was interesting. It was an interesting backstory. It gave a whole new twist to Freddy as far as um, he was dark. He was very, very uh, vengeful. He was definitely out to get revenge. You just knew. Um, right there what he was going to do, what he was there for, and I thought that was really cool, but then, man, he really wanted to get it on with Nancy, which was kind of, I mean, I've always liked the thought of a little bit of chemistry between them two, but the fact that Freddy is just, you know, openly, like, soliciting sex, with her, rather than wanting to kick her ass and her wanting to kick his ass, I thought that, I don't know, I just didn't like the mixture of Freddie being all, ooh, uh, uh, yes, I would love to do you, just stuff like that, and Nancy being like, oh my god, it was just, it was too much for me, actually it was too little, I could say, but, I mean, go see it, maybe... It'll settle better with me in a while, but for right now, I think that it's an okay movie. Not much you can do. I did like how they stuck to a lot of the original stuff, around a lot of the original ideas, like the one shot from the bathtub scene. It was very, uh, pretty accurate. The bathtub seemed pretty accurate. Uh, I liked the lady who played Marge, well, Nancy's mother, I don't even know if her name's Marge, but I liked her because she reminded me a lot of Ronnie Blakely, so that's pretty much that, just my two cents worth, um, leave comments and such, yeah, but go see the movie, don't just rely on me. I am a big Nightmare fan, so I'm probably kind of close-minded. My one friend who's not a Nightmare fan thought it was pretty good. So, go see it. See what you think. Let the world know. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Oh, and uh, on another note, I am going to be doing a video where if you send me your questions, and uh, that you just want to ask me personally, that's that's completely okay. Um, so either send them to me on my Facebook page, if you're getting this video on Facebook, or send them to me on my YouTube, just send me a personal message, or comment and ask say, say a question you want to ask me, you want me to answer. So that's pretty much it, and I'll try to get that video up soon, um, as soon as I get the right amount of questions. So that's my video log for tonight. So have a fantastic Freddy-filled night, and remember, whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Take care. Bye-bye.